Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing y'all my very short, quick, easy, curly hair routine for when I wear wigs. Obviously, this is not probably not a curly routine I will use on my own hair besides the water part. But yeah, if you want to see the curly hair routine I did on this beautiful wig, then just keep watching. So first, y'all know I got to tell y'all the details. This wig is from Alley Queen Hair. This is their 13 by, I think this is 13 by 6 to be honest because the parting space is very long. So I'm just going to guess that it's 13 by 6, but they have 13 by 4 and 13 by 6. Like I said, this is Brazilian Water Wave hair. Um, apparently it was pre-plucked. I don't remember, but I did pluck it some, you know, to my liking. I got their 14 inch. So this is about how long it is when it's wet. When it's dry, it kind of like curls. I mean, it kind of shortens up. I got their 14 inch and 130 density. I'm the one to blame. That's just how the game goes. Just want someone to know. But I don't want to let you know that I decided. I finally realized that all I want is you to be So... This is how the hair looks right now. Um, I just br when I was plucking it and stuff, you know, when I was customizing it, I had to brush the hair out. So this is how it came out. And y'all, this is the prettiest hair ever. Like this looks so much like my natural curls. Like this is how the curls. I don't know if y'all can see them. This is our like the dried up curls that's not brushed out yet. So I'm really just about to like really slay this kind of and do like a curly hair routine. Yeah, I already did the baby hair and customizing it and all that. I do kind of want to do a little bit more plucking and like a little bit more baby hairs, but I think right now it's good. So I'm just going to redo the part. And it's like the part is straight, but it's not. I don't know. Like I want it to be like this. You know what I'm saying? And that part is very kind of big. I don't really know how I'm going to fix that part yet. But so first I'm just fixing the part. So I kind of want to do that spray method with the hairspray that you know like the Instagram hairstylists do when they put the comb there and then they spray the black stuff around it. So this is the stuff that I got magic root or whatever. But y'all the first time I tried this it literally did not work. So I really don't. I'm kind of nervous to try to like try it again because I really just don't want to mess up lace so I'm gonna try it one more time to see the skin okay it actually kind of worked oh shit okay so I'm gonna try to do this for like the rest of my part and then we're gonna get to styling it I'm going to just take some of my concealer, the concealer I use for my brows, and put it in the part to like define it a little bit more. Oh shit. Like I don't know if I was supposed to do this part first or last, but like I do want this part to be very like sharp or whatnot. And I like using a concealer that's very close to my skin tone rather than one that's like really light because I just feel like it looks better. Yes, look at that part. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do to it. I'm not even gonna try to spray it some more because honestly, I'm just nervous about that spray. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this wax stick. A lot of the hair companies that send me wigs, they send you just wax sticks with wax stick, which is so like convenient and helpful. So usually what I do with this is I just put it around my perimeter of my edges or whatever. And then I'm going to just take the hot comb and flatten it out. I actually was not go even going to do this, but my sister was like, you should do like the hot comb method and all that. So that's what I'm doing. And I don't know why I didn't even want to think I wasn't thinking to do this because the hot comb just makes the hair look so much better. I'm just kind of like brushing the hair back. You want to be careful because hot combs can get very hot and you don't want to burn your, your scalp, your skin, the lace, none of that. So you got to be very, very careful. See, so just 
look at how that looks and i think i'm getting a lot better like with like my lace and stuff because you kind of can't really see the lace under here like so just keep you know combing until it's to your liking and you do want to do this part first because especially being that it's curly here you're going to end up wetting it you don't want to put a hot comb on like wet hair And I like that this hair doesn't get like too too big like yeah it gets big but like I don't know it's not very dense like the curls are kind of looser so it's not so like bush like and I don't really know how to explain it but I really really like this hair so now this is the most simple part like the easiest part of it all I'm gonna have to hold this in my legs because there's nowhere else to put it so now the easiest part y'all all you're gonna do is take some water you're gonna take some water and some foam wrap in my case i'm using foam wrap you can use like curl activator or whatever but you really don't even need that you probably don't even need the foam wrap but i like to kind of like lock the curls in and then once it's like all wet i'm gonna put some of the foam wrap in it and the foam wrap like i said it kind of like locks in your curls and it also makes your hair smell really good so this is how it looks wet versus curly and obviously the curls do get heavier so it looks you know a little bit like it got some length to it these curls are so pretty do y'all see this and this hair did not stink at all it wasn't shedding or anything either besides me plugging it oh look at these curls oh my goodness and another reason i like to use a foam wrap is because the foam wrap will keep it looking you know like this like it won't really puff up as much if you use foam wrap also so if you like the curls to look like this then definitely you know use foam wrap I like them both, but y'all, look at this. This plus the laid baby hairs, like, this is giving Bahama vacation, like, I need to go on vacation with this hair, because it is, y'all see this? So, now I'm just going to take some foam wrap, like, three squirts, rub it in my hands, and just rub it all into the hair. This will really like you know lock in the curls and just make them look so good like do y'all see this so i'm about to do the same thing for the other side and then i will come back Okay, so this is the finished look. Okay, this side is actually a little bit drier than this side. That's why this one is a little more flat. But y'all, I love how these curls look when they're wet. I can't wait for them to dry because I know it's gonna look even cuter and like more natural. Now, wig curly hair routines are like the easiest that you can ever even do because literally all you have to do is wet the hair and you know, let it dry air dry whatever you want to do you can even like twist it to make it more curly but you don't even have to do all of that with this hair like this and it's so soft like i said i can't wait for it to dry i'm probably going to come back at the weight in before it dries but if i don't i just want to say thank you to ali queen for sending me this hair because i mean y'all see it like y'all see it so yeah, thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to check out my lash page. These are these lashes are in the style Fendi. 
so make sure y'all check me out make sure y'all check out this wig and it has a lot of parted space which i really really like i like when the part can go all the way back you know to like the middle of my head so yeah make sure y'all check them out and thank y'all for watching this video and i'll see y'all my next one bye